Hi, this is Miss Cox Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Google document for a reading assignment for students. So the first thing you want to do is find um, an article that you would like to use. So for example, I like Newzella. It has lots of great current articles. So I found an article that I would like to use as a reading assignment, and I'm going to go to my drive, go to create, and go to document. I'm going to create a new document for this article. And this article is about sugary drinks, so I'll title it sugary drinks. And all you got to do is copy and paste it in. So for starters, I'm going to just copy the main part in. Control C. And actually, you remember, you might want to look at the uh, Lexile level. For me, probably with my ninth graders, I want to push them a little bit, but they probably don't need to be at the 1240. So I'm going to switch it over to 1050. Um, if my class is really low or lower, I might drop it lower. You could also differentiate this by group. So you could actually have several versions of this assignment. I'm going to go in here and paste it in. And the reason I copied and pasted this first is you'll see the text is huge. So I'm going to go back and make the text smaller, make it normal. Um, one thing you'll want to do is change the spacing to single. It will sometimes automatically add in some weird spacing. Now I'm pretty much ready to go and add in just the title next and who created this and the date. You can also copy and paste in the um, image. I'll have to do some work to fix that. Okay, so there's the image. All right, so now I just need to fix my title. Going to resize this to let's go with 24. It looks like the main issue I'm having here is the um, spacing is coming in strangely, so that may be something you need to fix. All right, I'm gonna bold that since it's the title. I'm gonna unbold this. All right, so now I've got my article and I think I'm good to go. So once you have your article set up and you're happy with it, one thing I might recommend is changing the margins. So if you would like less white space on the sides, so students aren't overwhelmed with having three pages to read, if you want it to make it, if you want to make it smaller, you could um, go to you could go to File and go to Page Setup and change the margins. You could also add more margins, um, you know, wider margins if you wanted to add more white space. Some students find that more helpful. Now, this is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to send it out to students now. What I need to do is basically go to share and what I could do is here where it says private only you have access I need to change this to anyone with link can view. Make sure it says can view. So basically I'll give this link to students and they'll be able to copy, um, copy it. They won't be able to edit it immediately they'll have to create their own copy. So I'll go with save. The problem is this is the link and you'll find that's a very long link to write on the whiteboard or um, have students copy down. You could easily email that if you have access to student emails. Or what I like to do is go to goo.gol. It's goo.gl. And you just paste in the URL, click shorten. And I'm going to go 668634 to make sure I'm not a robot. And then basically now, this is all I need to write on the board. I can just type in, or I can write on the board, goo.goal slash sdevmw. Keep in mind, the capitals here matter. So the S, D, and V do need to be capitalized when students are typing that in. And basically, once students type that in, and I'll show you what it looks like, if they go to that website, and I'm going to open it up in a different browser so I'm not signed in, and if I go here, you'll see I won't be able to edit it. So I'll have to go over here to File, Make a Copy. Once I've done that, now I'll be able to edit it. And then at this point, you'd have one student do this if you wanted them to work in Teams, and then they would go ahead and share it with their teammates and type in all their emails. And the nice thing about the um, system we have at school is if you start typing in their names, their emails should pop up so they don't actually have to recite their whole email. Um, basically, that's it. 
The other recommendations I have, besides just sharing it this way or emailing links out to students, um, before you do anything with it, I would recommend adding some questions in. So if you have a text like this, the great thing is students can annotate it with comments on the sides. But it's also pretty awesome to add in questions in the text. So I might add a section in here. I might actually insert a table so it really stands out. And I'm going to just add a table in here so students know there's a question here that they need to answer. And maybe I'm going to type in summarize what the text has said so far. I mean, you could add all sorts of questions. Um, and then students could then pause here and in their teams be writing down what the summary is or answering whatever question it is that you've typed in. That's one way to add in more common core questions. So that's about it for basically you just copy and paste in the text, format it so you're happy with it, add questions if you'd like. Um, if you're using Newzella to copy and paste, sometimes there's a quiz. You could copy and paste some of those quiz questions over. Um, and the last recommendation I'd have is if you want students to all answer the questions separately, I would have them type their answer and then each student color code their answer. So maybe you know one student's red, one student is blue, and so on. That way you can tell you know who's done what. Or you could have them you know, at the end put their name. I like color, so personally, <laughs> um, I think you know one of the great things about working on computers and using Google Documents is students can answer things in color, and they can see color pictures, which is really a huge benefit over printed, um, printed articles or black and white textbooks. Um, but anyway, that's about it. So please, if you have any questions, email me at misscoxtech at gmail.com. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions or leave your questions in the comments section. Um, hopefully this helps you uh, create more interactive reading assignments for your students in your class. Thank you for watching.